Why are you running to be the leader of the Conservative Party? Because we've got a very clear choice. We can change. We can unite the party, end the factionalism and unite with the country again. We can rebuild the trust that we so desperately need. And we can win the next general election. Alternatively, we can do more of the same. We can have more of the infighting, more of the division, more of the broken promises, and of course, more of the defeats. Now, as leader, I will unite, rebuild, and win. And the Conservative Party has always been that vehicle for opportunity for this country. For the best part of 200 years, we've delivered results that people can rely on, that people can trust. Even in recent years, the education reform and universal credit have made a huge difference. And I've always said what I mean, and I mean what I say, and I'm absolutely committed to making sure we are ready to win that next general election. Now, I've demonstrated that I can deliver on operations in Afghanistan, in Iraq. I've demonstrated that I can deliver holding authoritarian dictatorships to account, which has got me sanctioned by China and Russia and Iran. And I can demonstrate real success in government since I passed the National Security Act, under my term as security minister, we've arrested more Russian and Chinese spies than in the decade before. We can unite, we can rebuild, and we can win. What do you think we need to do over the coming years to win the next general election? And how will you achieve it? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to apologize. We got things wrong. And we need to own that and change. Now, we need to change in such a way that we actually unite the Conservative Party, we end the factionalism, and we focus on delivering for the British people. Because actually what we can do as a party is we can deliver for everyone in this country. We can deliver stronger borders. We can deliver greater prosperity. England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland all have the opportunity of growing better, of having greater prosperity and greater security under a Conservative government. And as leader, I have demonstrated that I can deliver on operations, in Parliament and in government, and that's exactly what I'll do, and make sure that we are ready to win the next general election. Do you have a longer-term vision for the party beyond 2029? Absolutely. We need to get back to conservative values. We need to bring down migration, and we need to bring down taxes, because we need to make sure that growth across this country sees everybody prosper. In England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland, we can generate growth by encouraging people to rely on themselves and to invest in themselves. Now, we've already demonstrated this, where we've made the education reforms here in England. We've already demonstrated it, where we've allowed people to keep more of their money to invest in their businesses. And we have made that difference as Conservatives. Now, what we need to do, and what I will do as con the leader of the Conservative Party, is make sure that we deliver that in government. As Prime Minister, I will make sure that we trust people. Lower taxes aren't ideological. They're about trusting people who know best how to spend their own resources and how to deliver the greater productivity and prosperity that this country needs. What are the top three policy areas you'll prioritise? And what specific actions will you take in those areas? So look, I'm going to be focused on prosperity, on security and on fairness. Now, all three are essential to the whole of the United Kingdom. We need England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland to be growing. We need them all to be more secure and we need them all to be fairer. And that's where working with our devolved partners, with county councillors, with councillors across the United Kingdom and with the devolved mayors, I will be making sure that we deliver for the whole of the United Kingdom a safer, fairer and more prosperous United Kingdom. How would you describe your leadership style and how will you ensure unity and inclusiveness within the party? Look, my style is pretty simple. It's honest, it's straightforward and it's determined. And it's got to be all three because if you want to build a team, you need to be honest. If you want to be clear as to where you're going, you need to be straightforward. And if you want to achieve it, you need to be determined. Now, I've demonstrated that I can be all three, building teams to deliver results on operations in Iraq and Afghanistan, or to stand up for Britain against authoritarian dictators in Parliament, which has got me sanctioned by China, Russia, and Iran, or indeed standing up for Britain's interests and defending us against those same hostile states which has got us more arrests of Chinese and Russian spies in the two years that I was security minister than the 10 years before that. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say, and I am going to build a team that delivers a victory at the next election. How did you first get involved in politics and the Conservative Party? I first got involved in politics canvassing in Bristol. I wasn't the trendiest student, as you can probably guess, and um, I joined 
the Conservative Party. It must have been about 20 years ago. I can't remember, actually, but it, it was a, a long time ago. And then I got much more involved when I left the military, and that's when uh, I first stood for uh, election and since then been serving as the MP for Tunbridge and had a great privilege of meeting some fantastic people. What did you do before politics and how has it shaped your views? Uh, before politics, I did a few things. I was a soldier, I was a journalist, and uh, I helped run a small business. Now, all three of those, I think, are vital for making sure you understand how this country needs to run. Because the truth is, all three matter, whether you're worried about payroll, whether you're holding authority to account, or whether you're serving our country as I was in the military overseas, or as many others are in uniform here at home. All three are about public service. All three are about delivering for Britain. And all three are about being conservative in how you operate and how you deliver for Britain. What would you say is the highlight of your political career? Look, I'm hugely proud of Tony's law. Tony Hudgel, a young man who was terribly, terribly injured by his birth parents and then adopted by his amazing family, has changed the law, not even 10 years old, and he's managed to pass a law that will keep uh, kids who have been as abused as he have safer than they were before. Now, I'm very proud to have been the MP that shepherded it through Parliament, but really it's his victory. How has the Conservative Party shaped you as a person? In so many ways, uh, and frankly, going to so many constituency events around the country over the last decade has been wonderful because I have met so many people who are the kind of people who do things in their community. Conservatives are always the doers. They're the ones who run the scout groups. They're members of Rotary, Lions or the Round Table. They're the ones who run the Village Fate, who volunteer in so many different areas. You know, I'm just proud of all of them and, and they've taught me so much, frankly. And so being leader of the Conservative Party, delivering for them and delivering for the whole of the United Kingdom would be a huge privilege. Who is your biggest inspiration? Uh, my political inspiration has always been the Conservative Party members. I mean, they're the people who are the doers in our community and in our party. You know, every function, every event I go to, uh, there are people who run fairs, you know, organise churches, do everything in the community. And they are, frankly, the political backbone of our country. And I'm incredibly proud of them. And that's why I'm standing to be leader, because they deserve the right representation. They deserve somebody who can deliver and somebody who can lead based on conservative values. That's exactly what I'm going to do. What do you hope members will learn about you during this campaign that they may not already know? Look, I hope they're going to see that I am uh, open, honest and straightforward, because that's exactly what we need to do. We need to be open about what we got wrong, we need to be honest about where we can make changes and we need to be straightforward in how we're going to deliver. And for me, that's frankly about focusing on conservative values. And, you know, I'm going to be absolutely honest. There are some real challenges out there. There's some really difficult decisions. But if we stick to conservative principles, then we can make the changes that matter to the British people. And I'm going to be absolutely ruthless at sticking to the British people's interest and making sure we do exactly what this country needs, not just to reorganise and reform the Conservative Party, but to make sure we are ready to win and ready to lead after the next general election. What do you hope members will learn about you during this campaign that they may not already know? Look, the first thing is that we've listened. You know, this is a moment of choice. It's a moment of clear choice. Do we change? Do we unite and end the factional infighting? Do we focus on delivery and we, do we get ready to win the next general election? Or do we do more of the same? Do we do more in fighting, do we do more broken promises and more defeats? You know, that's the straight choice. Now, if we demonstrate to the British people, which we can, that we have moved beyond that, that we've recognised our mistakes and recognised our errors, then I think we can be ready. Now, as leader, I will focus on unity, I will focus on delivery, and I will focus on victory.